outside of Apple's emergency SOS systems, satellite direct to cell phone connectivity is coming this fall, or so says SpaceX. Let's dive in. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistle Out. In 2022, T-Mobile and SpaceX signed a contract to work together to hopefully bring direct to cellular to consumers, officially ending dead zones across the country. It's been about two years now, and some moves have been made, including SpaceX launching at least three dozen satellites into space to prep for the eventual connectivity for T-Mobile users. Now, these specific satellites from Starlink have T-Mobile Spectrum built in, so all T-Mobile customers, regardless of the phone type they have, should be able to connect to these satellites once it goes live. Now, SpaceX has started some of their own rumors that this will happen this fall, though T-Mobile has yet to comment on anything regarding satellite connectivity, so it's hard to say when this will actually happen, but when it does, what will it look like? Well, we really only have Apple to judge off of this, and with Apple's direct-to-satellite communication for their SOS emergency mode, you have to have a clear view of of the sky and in some cases have to hold your phone up like the olden days, like can you hear me now type deal. So having direct satellite connectivity to our cell phones could be helpful in many cases. Now, when it originally starts or when it will start with T-Mobile and SpaceX, it will only be texting though voice over satellite should be coming relatively quickly after that. Now, Verizon and AT&T aren't far behind because they have each inked their own deal with a company called AST Space Mobile. And this is the same company for each of them. In fact, they are sharing some costs and sharing spectrum across their consumer base. So if you're a Verizon customer or an AT&T customer, you could potentially be using the exact same spectrum because they are going to be sharing, making it a lot easier for this satellite connectivity to happen even sooner. Now for some important mumbo jumbo that I feel like I need to put on this video for the nerds out there, AST Space Mobile will be utilizing the 850 megahertz spectrum for AT&T and Verizon customers. This spectrum is a low band spectrum that stretches really far and has good strength so it can get inside buildings and over trees and through forests. So it should be a bit easier to have connectivity with this spectrum, keeping in mind that it is much slower than what you would be used to. So don't expect lightning fast speeds when this eventually comes to fruition. Now, all of this coverage is great, but in the next 10 years, there are plans to shoot at least 20,000 more satellites into space, and this will lead to substantial problems coming down the pipe. Now, if if you want to hear more about that, I have a series of shorts, multiple videos detailing the dangers of galactic space trash. And if you're interested in that, you can find them up here. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert. Thanks for watching.